Over her new doctor's kit. We're gonna play doctor. Markers. That's a great idea, Max. I'll use some markers to make a doctor's office sign on my door. Oh, I'll need that one too, please. Must be Louise now. Hi, Louise. Hi, Ruby. I put this sign up for our office door. It's perfect. Who's going to be the doctor? Well, it's your doctor's kit, so I think you should be Dr. Louise. Okay. Then you get to wear this, Nurse Ruby. Ooh. Let's see what else is in here. This is a tongue depressor. You use it to check for sore throats. Open up and say, ah! <laughs> I know what this is. This is for listening to your heart. And this is for checking your ears. Oh, I know this one. This is for checking your elbows and knees. And this book will answer every medical question we have. All we need now is a patient. Hmm. <gasps> Oh, Max! Wanna have some fun, Max? Markers! I've got something much more fun than that, Max. How about a checkup from Nurse Ruby and Dr. Louise? Here's your next patient, Dr. Louise. <laughs> Don't worry, sir. We'll have you all better and out of here in no time. We'll need to check his eyes, ears, and throat. Both eyes look good. Now open up and say, ah, Max. Markers. Thank you, Max. I'll need to write down all your important information on your health chart. His ears look good, Nurse Ruby. Just a few more things to check before we can give you a clean bill of health, sir. Time to check for a heartbeat. Hmm. I can't hear anything. <laughs> no wonder you can't hear anything. There are too many markers in the way. Markers! You can play with your markers right after your checkup, Max. Now I can hear it. <gasps> I can hear it too. Having a heartbeat is very important if you want to stay healthy. What should we check next, Dr. Louise? Hmm. <gasps> I'm sorry, Max. I mean, sir. We just have to check your, your... Reflexes. This won't hurt a bit. <laughs> I guess that knee is all right. 
What do you think, Dr. Louise? Hmm... He didn't laugh when we got to this arm. Maybe he's got a broken funny bone. That's just what I was thinking. <laughs> Where are you going, Max? Markers! Not until we take care of that broken funny bone. <laughs> Great job, Dr. Louise. I couldn't have done it without your assistance, Nurse Ruby. Oh, I almost forgot. We've got to check his temperature. I think he's got a temperature. I'm sorry, sir, but you're going to have to lie down. What else should he do, Dr. Louise? Let's see. Um, oh, it says he should stay in bed for at least two days. our patient is following doctor's orders. Excuse me, sir, but Dr. Louise and I think you need to start taking better care of yourself. <gasps> Max, you're covered in red spots. Is it chicken pox, Dr. Louise? <gasps> I hope not. They're very contagious. I don't have any spots, do I, Louise? Um, I don't see any. What about me? I don't know. But I think I'm getting itchy. Uh-oh. What do you think it is, Max? Markers. <laughs> Max. <laughs> Max's prize. I'm so excited, Max. Louise is coming over to show me something special. She wouldn't say what it is on the telephone. It's a surprise. I finished that box of cereal, Max. Here's a brand new box of corn crunchies. And guess what? There's a prize inside. Prize! That must be Louise! Coming! Hi, Louise! Hi, Ruby! What's the surprise? This! It's a charm bracelet. Each charm reminds me of something special. See? This is a metal grandpa one. And this is a star from my trip to the planetarium. What's that one? It's half a friendship heart. Why just half? Because I get one half, and my best friend gets the other half. <gasps> Louise, it's beautiful. See? Now every time we see the charm, we'll think of each other. I love it. Thanks, Louise. <gasps> now I want to make my own charm bracelet. Look what Louise gave me, Max. I'm going to put it on a charm bracelet and then fill it with other special things. Prize! Okay, Max, I'll open the box for you. Here. 
here. We're going to look for charms. Prize. No, Max. You have to eat the cereal before you get the prize. The ribbon from your ballet slippers makes a perfect bracelet to hang your charms on, Ruby. I can't wait to find more. I know. I'll check my jewelry box. You have so many pretty things. Thanks, Louise. But I can only put the most special things on my charm bracelet. Like this earring from Grandma. It's real pretend gold. Ooh. What else can I put on it? How about something from Bunny Scouts? <gasps> Bunny Scouts! That's a great idea. I'll check my scrapbook. Prize? I know exactly what I'm looking for. Aha! My very first Bunny Scout pin. That'll make a charming charm. Let me help you put it on. What else do you want to remember? Hmm. I know. My dollies. Come on, they're outside. Tooth Fairy has something special I want to hang from my charm bracelet. What is it? It's... You have to eat the cereal, Max. Not my dollies. Besides, Tooth Fairy doesn't have time for breakfast. I need her to help me with my charm bracelet. See anything on Tooth Fairy you can hang from your charm bracelet, Ruby? That's because it's in her pocket. My first baby tooth. She's kept it for me all these years. Now, what else can I put on my charm bracelet? From my garden. I love my flower garden. Prize! You have to get to the bottom of the box before you can get the prize, Max. What can I put on my charm bracelet to remind me of my flowers? Hmm. You can't put a flower on your bracelet, Ruby. It would shrivel up. That's true, Louise. What else is there? I know! Come on! The key to the garden shed. It's the perfect thing to remind me of my garden. And you'll always know where the key is. My charm bracelet's getting full. There's space for just one more charm. Hmm. What's missing? Are you feeding your aunt cereal? Price. You're supposed to eat. Max, you finished the whole box. Price. What are you going to do with it? Price. <laughs> 
got a charm from my best friend, and a charm from my grandma, and a charm from bunny scouts, and a charm from my tooth fairy, and a charm from my garden, and a charm from my... Max! Thank you, Max. Space Max. Troop chose Valerie, Louise, and me to make a float for the Bunny Fest parade. You know what a float is, don't you, Max? <laughs> yes, your boat does float. But the kind of float I'm talking about is the kind you pull along in a parade. Maybe we need to show him. Good idea, Valerie. Here's a picture of last year's float. It was a globe of the whole wide world. Bunny Scout leader said it was very creative. But now we need to think of an idea that's even more creative for this year's float. It has to be different and exciting. Spaceman! I can't play with you right now, Max. Louise and Valerie and I have to come up with an idea for our float. So, what are we going to make? How about a haunted castle? We could have oh, dancing skeletons and witches flying on broomsticks and a 60-foot high ghost and the whole castle would go woo! That would be different. But maybe a little too different. What else can we do? Hmm. <gasps> I've got an idea. How about a pretty princess's palace? That's exciting, Ruby. And different. But what if it's a magic palace? Of course. It's settled then. We're going to make a magic princess's palace float for the Bunny Fest Parade. Our float sure is coming together. It needs something. <gasps> I know! How about my Rapunzel doll? Good idea, Ruby! And she'll need a magic fairy godmother, too. You're right, Valerie. <gasps> what about Tooth Fairy? She's got a tiara and a wand. She'll be perfect. Let's go. Spaceman. Rapunzel goes in this turret, and her fairy godmother goes... Max! This is a princess's palace, Max. You can't put your spaceman here. There! Well, what do you think? I think it's time to decorate it! Let's paint it silvery gray, like a real castle. I think we should cover it with pink and purple glitter glue, so it looks all glittery and magical. Hmm. What if we cover it with tin foil? Then it'll be silvery and shiny, too. Great idea, Ruby. Let's go get some. Spaceman. This 
is going to look so good. Has anyone seen Tooth Fairy? Oh, Max! Max, have you seen Tooth Fairy? <laughs> Max! We need Tooth Fairy for our princess's palace. Bunny Scout Leader will be here any minute to see our float. Tooth Fairy is going to be our princess's fairy godmother. She's going to make all her dreams come true. It's done! It's exciting and very different. There's just one more thing we need to do. We need to wear something special for the parade. I know. Let's go get some of my play dress-up stuff. Great, Great idea! idea. Spaceman. Get the idea. Spaceman. 